Yo, what's up? This is Saladin Salam for Can Call, so kind of depressing here, part of Mastino Historical Talk. What's going on, y'all? Hopefully, y'all having a lovely evening. I'm on YouTube, so I want to give you a little spin what's going on, because I know I got a little moles here, too. So, let me tell y'all what's going on. In the Corso world, if you look on Facebook, on some Corso forums, you'll see that a lot of bickering and arguing and all this other crazy, crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. This is an indication that uh, people are not doing the right thing by the breed. Um, you have a lot of bullies, you have a lot of trolls, you have a lot of top enthusiasts that are not knowledgeable at all. They don't know what they're talking about. And basically don't want you to, to listen to the truth for the matter. Again, um, I guess what's happening now that a lot of these false corsos, I should say, are being left. And a lot of these show enthusiasts can't sell puppies. And that's a good thing, though. That's not a bad thing, people. That is a good thing. The good thing about that situation is that you're asking, I guess, a lot of you starting to ask the right questions. And you're basically seeing the truth. So you're looking at videos and et cetera, and you're starting to learn. That is great. That is great. That's commended. Continue to do so. Again, I'm going to say this on this thread. I'm not an expert. I'm not jumping up here and saying that I'm an expert. I am an enthusiast. I do love the breed. And I study. I give the facts. And the facts are the facts. And that's it. Yeah, like, I'm not saying that I'm always right. 100%. This and that and the third. But on the aspect of the facts, I give you the reference of the historians that actually are writing this stuff and I'll put it on the thread. I'll put it on the thread. So it is what it is and that's that. Like I'm not up here promoting just one style of corso. I always said and have advocated that keep the corso traditional and you should do so. You should keep the corso traditional man. A corso shouldn't be a boxer. It shouldn't be a barvel. It shouldn't be a bull mastiff, a French mastiff. It shouldn't look like a great name. Now, can a corso look like a neo? Not an overly done show neo, but it can look like a Neapolitan mastiff. The neo and the corso are basically kind of one of the same breed. Do the research. Because I hear a lot of you, oh, did the same what? Like, what did he say? I said. One, they used to be the same breed. They did. But then again, and to be technical, they, it can be considered the same breed. How do I feel so? I'm going to go on. Now, you have, they all was the same breed, right? I'll give you another scenario. Let's talk about American Bulldogs. An American Bulldog Johnson type is different from the standard type. Avi, right? But considered the same breed. You can breed both dogs together and you'll get an American Bulldog. It's called a Hyper Bulldog, right? In other words. But it's still an American Bulldog. Registry still registered both dogs and it is what it is, right? Right. Okay. So, with the Corso's history, the Neapolitan Master was a Corso. A traditional show Neo. A show Neo, I'm talking about. The big, massive, wrinkly dog... Sometimes they produce dogs that are less big boned, less wrinkles. Those are kind of depressors. Or a corso. If you was to breed that into a corso, you'll get a corso. I mean, they're not slobbery. They're, they're kind of dry mouth dogs. You'll get a corso. You'll get a corso. You will get a corso. There's no, you know. You hear, you hear a lot of enthusiasts talk about, well, you know, like that be mixing the dogs. The dogs weren't the same. They were bred differently. Not necessarily. Because today, Corso, in Italy, they're being bred. And even in, in the UK, they were being bred the Barbels, Bull Masters, Mastiff stock. Like, all types of breeds. And, the, and I, could, I could keep going. So was, you know, the Neapolitan Master. The same situation. He just got a little Newfoundland 
and this is why his his skin is sagging off and all that exaggerated do laps and all that other stuff which is 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 totally not the breed it's not the breed it's not the traditional dog if we go back in history look at Wyoming, which is the template barrio scandizi wrote books he's the um historian of that breed he didn't do a great job far as the history is concerned but he did enough to say that a neo is a corso he did enough with that i can give you literature if you look on my facebook page all my former and scroll down i put it up information dealing with it's an italian though so if you get a translator you'll see that the government in the 18th century was calling the corso the neo they were saying the mastino corsi same breed same breed so again it all becomes upon you studying and researching you know like you hear a lot of enthusiasts and when you start getting on Facebook and these other forums and registries, oh, this guy, he's a crackpot. I'm talking about me now because I'm supposed to be the bad guy of Corsos. But anyway, um, the word kind of depressor is not, it's not, it's not, it was never associated with the breed. They'll tell you stuff like this and it, it shouldn't be, listen, if you do research, you'll see the historians talking about it. This is what the dog was called. This is what the dogs are. If that is the truth, please research. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say, please research. You can Google it. Google kind of depressor. Kind of depressor, not canary presser, kind of depressor. Like, like kind of the causal, like, or cane causal. Cane depressor. And you will find them facts. And you'll see that, oh my God, this guy is telling the truth here. And a lot of events happen far as with Sachs and other registries trying to get away. Pablo Berber, the Brees historian, manifest that. There's plenty of articles out there. Go find them. Why did he leave Sachs? What was the reason for it? Why did Sachs decide to breed other dogs into the dogs? Because everybody's beating up on the Satilli blood, but giving the Italians a pass. And that's wrong. <laughs> that's wrong on so many levels. So, with me saying that, research. Again, on other farmers. I see you guys talking about me. I don't care. Let me tell you. Nah. It means nothing. You're trolling. It means nothing. I'm going to block you and delete you. You already know what time it is. So we're not even going to go there and play those games, right? Right. So with me saying that, it is what it is. And it's like I said at the end of the day, yo, keep the corsos traditional. Keep them traditional, people. Keep them traditional. There's epilepsy running around. Sacks decided, the new Sacks, I'm going to say. This guy, Anthony, Ant Ottowich, whatever the hell his name is. Forgive me because I don't like getting people's names messed up. I really don't like the guy personally, but I'm not going to speak cray cray about him. But he is doing the right thing far as he's starting to do the right thing far as the epilepsy is concerned in the breed. So I think it should be done a little bit more in, in, um, intensely. You know what I'm saying? Like basically like he should really be going in. And, but rather a, a slow start than no start. Real talk. So I commend them on that and that's that. And I'm going to say that. I'm not up here, like I said, to belittle anybody. The Yo, like, again, like, to discredit people dogs. I'm here to give you the facts. I'm here to give you the facts, and that's it. That has to be respected. YouTube, Facebook, and all this other stuff is free. It's free. I don't, I don't get paid for this stuff, man. A lot of you are not going to log on anyway because, you know, a lot of American people are lazy. Or world people worldwide, you're lazy. You're not going to do no research. You're going to take secondhand information and a lot of you are going to run with it. You're going to get these other enthusiasts, so-called enthusiasts that's been in the breed for a while and not research, not even do a extensive background check on them. When I'm saying about extensive, what they did for the breed. Or... The stuff, the content of they're talking about, what they're talking about, is it authentic or not? 
You know what I'm saying? Because with mine, like I'm telling you, go to Flavio Bruno, Flavio Bruno website, and uh, look up King Corso, translate it, you know, press the translate button, and see what he says. That's the breed historian. That's one of the breeds historian. A good historian at that. A real good one. A veterinarian, ongoing um, Corso recovery breeder. And also, he was one of the um, representatives of SAC in the beginning, along with Mike's father, along with Vito NTV, and others. See, you got to learn the history of the dogs. You have to learn. You have to learn, people, like on some real stuff. You're taking the secondhand information, and we're running with it. Running with it like it's a marathon. You need to slow down. You need to take your time, and you need to study. You need to study. You need to study. You need to study. And that's the bottom line to that. That's the bottom line. I'm not here promoting anything but keep the tra the um, Corso traditional. That's it. I don't want to see these dogs end up like the Neo. I don't want them to see them end up like a lot of breeds of dogs. And keep them traditional. That's it. That is it. I agree that Mike Satilli, he's another, he's the son of a recovery breeder. He should have went in more in debt. You should have really went in in, in a depth far as giving you the information that's on Zeke's Bully Badass TV. Good documentary content. I got to give it up to Zeke. That's a shout out. Word up. Very good. Very good content. A lot of controversy with that. Because we had a youngster, Jimmy, that made a video also, which was pretty good too, which is pretty good. But it's, like I said, it's a lot of controversy. A lot of enthusiasts. Oh, that's not the real dogs. Oh, uh, this and that and the third and this and that. And they were banned dogs and this and that and the third. Well, people, to be honest with you, those dogs are still cookie cutting. The way that the first dogs that came over, they pretty much look the same. If you did research, you will see that I'm telling you the truth. Also, can't say that the mainstream bloodlines are looking the same. I can take dogs 30 years ago and show you these dogs and then show you their present day ancestors or their predecessors and these dogs are trash. They look like other breeds of dogs. That's the Tilly stuff is still stamping. It's still cookie cutting. It's good stuff. My opinion. My opinion. Do what you want to do. You ain't got to take my opinion. You don't even have to take nothing that I'm saying on face value. You have a choice. I advise you to research, but if you don't, you do what you do. It is what it is. I'm not going to put a gun to your head. I'm not going to be yelling and screaming. I'm not going to be calling you out your name. You do what you do. You, you do what you feel which is right. And that's the bottom line to that. It is what it is. But like I said, with my contents on these videos, because I'm going to be making a telecast, same thing like Bully Badass, be doing the same thing, but my thing is not going to be a multiple of dogs like his is. Mine is going to basically going to be on Connie Corso breeders, um, trainers, and etc. Because I have to make this thing, this 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 our breed. I have to make this work. Like I have to make it work. I got to safeguard it because if nobody else is stepping up, I have to step up. So this is what I did. If it's not respected, it is what it is. And if it is respected, I appreciate that. No doubt. Hold on, because I got to cut it off. Make a part two. Stay tuned.